Hey everyone, my name is Shashank Shekhar, Master Teacher of Mathematics at Vedanta. Here we are presenting solutions for JEE Advanced 2018 Paper 2. The question taken in this video is uh, related to the topic Limits, Continuity and Differentiality of Functions, Various Functions. Uh, if we look at the problem, there are four functions defined f1, f2, f3, f4, certain domains are given domain and codomain r2 r minus pi by 2 pi by 2 2 r then for f3 it is minus 1 2 it is for pi by 2 minus 2 2 r then f4 r2 r functions uh, given as f1 x sine of under root 1 minus e raised power minus x square f2 as mod sine x upon tan inverse x x not equal to 0 x equal to 0 pay it is given as 1 uh, where inverse to point tan inverse x takes uh, principal values minus pi by 2 pi by 2 standardly defined f3 similarly is given uh, something as get is integer of sine of ln of x plus 2 f4 as x squared sine 1 by x x not equal to 0 0 when x equal to 0 f4 is a commonly seen function if you uh, have seen this function in the chapter limits continuity and differentiability is generally presented as a, uh, as an example of some function which is differentiable at x equal to 0 but not but the derivative is not continuous at x equal to 0 we will see in detail We'll discuss this aspect of f4 and if you go for the there are two lists given list one may there are four choices f1 f2 f3 f4 list two may there are certain properties mentioned related to continuity and differentiability not continuous continuous but not differentiable differentiable and its derivative is not continuous differentiable and derivative is also continuous so we'll see which function will match to which property will show which will exhibit which property so one by one and if you go to, uh, to the option see the option option says if you check only p so two option will be rejected if you find uh, the correct uh, matching of p and further suppose if you get p as 2 so a and d uh, will be there to check and for q there are different options similarly if p goes to 4 so q we have uh, for q we have different options so if it if uh, we find p and q correct matching of p and q we will be able to uh, get the correct option tick the correct option there is no need to check r and s however in this video we will discuss every aspect of the problem all the four functions so it will take some time but getting to the correct option is not that lengthy okay so coming to the very first function f1 x is sign of under root of 1 minus e raised power minus x square so i'm writing it here sign of yeah f1 x is given as sine of under root of 1 minus e raised power minus x square so obviously there is no issue with the continuity at x equal to 0 because everything is asked uh, at x equal to 0 in the list 2 as you can see so the only set point is x equal to 0 here you can see f1 0 is 0 I am checking the continuity here of f1 x uh, limit for that will have to check the limit of f1 x and that is obviously there is no issue there is no indeterminacy there is no indeterminate form here I am getting directly as sine of 0 so it is 0 so uh, limit exists and is equal to the value of the function function is f1 x is continuous now we'll have to check the con differentiability of f1 x at x equal to 0 for differentiability going with the first principle the formula is x tending to 0 f1 x minus f1 0 divided by x minus 0 f1 0 is 0 so i can write directly uh, sine of under root of 1 minus e raised power minus x square upon x let's see how this limit can be formed easily so going with the standard limit sine theta by theta theta tending to 0 I am going to write the same thing angle for sine here is under root of 1 minus e raised power minus x square so simplifying it we will have to multiply it also so here I am writing e raised for x square minus 1 by okay um, x square yeah and uh, e raised for x square will also be there 
so i am trying to make standard limits you know this is this comes under standard limit into um what will i will have to write yeah uh, the only thing left is yeah i have written in the denominator under root of x square so i'll have to write under root of x square here also divided by original x this x so x here so now this sin theta by theta theta into zero is one under root of one is here one is here and here limit x tending to zero under root of x square is not x it is mod x by x so if you see the left hand side of it you'll get minus one right hand side me you'll get plus one so lhd here is lhd here is minus one rsd here is plus one so here we can say that the function f1x is was continuous continuous there is no issue with continuity but is not differentiable at x equal to 0 isn't it so um, here we can see option continuous but not differentiable so p goes with 2 right p goes with 2 coming to the second function f2 f2 is defined as mod sin x upon tan inverse when x is not 0 1 when x is 0 mod sin x numerator so you can understand even the limit okay i am writing here for f2 f2 if you find the limit of f2 x into 0 for to check the continuity yeah what was f2 f2 was mod sin x upon i think it was tan inverse x right x is not 0 x tending to 0 so i'm taking when x is not 0 uh, f2 x is this so if you find this limit now if i'm writing the standard one mod sin x by x and uh, x upon making standard limits here i will have to write mod x so in the numerator x in denominator again i am writing one, uh, getting 1 into 1 sin x sin theta by theta mod 1 okay so into 1 x upon tan inverse x when x tends to 0 is 1 very standard limit and limit x tending to 0 mod x upon x again so here only uh, if i find lhl it is minus 1 rhl i am getting 1 so here we can see the function f2x uh, is even not continuous f2x is not continuous at x equal to 0 so obviously not differentiable also so coming to uh, the list f2x is not continuous so p, p uh, goes with 2 q goes with 1 coming to this P goes with 2, P2, Q1 is given in option D. So option D is the final correct option, must be the correct option. Uh, I mean, in exam, there is no need to check R and S. But okay, here we'll discuss the characteristics of R and S, uh, I mean uh, F3 and F4 also. So if I'm taking F3 here, right? Yeah, domain of F3 is, was also mentioned from minus 1 to e raised power pi by 2 minus 2. From minus 1 to e raised power pi by 2 minus 2, why it is given like this so if you take minus 1 here now so you'll get uh, what um, log of minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1 log 1 is 0 sine 0 so it is coming as 0 0 plus because minus 1 ka right I am taking we are taking minus 1 ka right so 0 ka right sine 0 ka right is 0 plus ka box is 0 and uh, if you are taking the left of e raised power pi by 2 minus 2 e raised power pi by 2 minus when you put x equal to e raised power pi by 2 minus 2 so x plus 2 would be e raised power pi by 2 and log of that would be pi by 2 and sine pi by 2 in the left of sine pi by 2 it is 1 1 ka left 1 minus the box is 0 so in the entire this complete domain function f3 0 in fact i'm writing it uh, sine of log of x plus 2 okay so f3x is basically what I have said greatest integer of sine of log of x plus 2 the base e and x is given from 
माइनस वन टू इरेज पर पाई बाई टू माइनस टू माइनस वन आई थिंक माइनस वन टू इरेज पर पाई बाई टू माइनस टू एक ओके पाई बाई टू माइनस टू राइट सो इन दिस इंटरवल ऑब्वियसली एक्स प्लस टू वुड लाई बिटवीन वन टू ऑब्वियसली ई रेज पॉट पाई बाई टू सो लॉग ऑफ एक्स प्लस टू टू द बेस ई वुड लाई बिटवीन लॉग वन इज जीरो एंड हेयर पाई बाई टू एंड ऑब्वियसली साइन ऑफ लॉग ऑफ एक्स प्लस टू टू द बेस ई would be between 0 and 1 so greatest integer of it so f3x is nothing but 0 greatest integer of between zero, some number between 0 to 1 between 0 and 1 greatest integer so it is 0 so f3x is throughout 0 in the interval and this interval contains x equal to 0 so uh, in fact uh, the function is flat near zero in the complete interval given domain so this function is obviously f3x is continuous differentiable also its derivative f3 dash x will also be zero because it is flat function for all x given in domain of the function domain right so and derivative is also zero for for all x in the domain for all x belongs to the domain so obviously uh, going to the option um, f3 dash matlab f3 x function is such that uh, its first derivative is continuous also continuous right first derivative is continuous because it is flat f3 dash uh, f3 dash x is also zero throughout so here f3 is such that differentiable and its first derivative is also continuous first derivative is not continuous will not be the correct match for it the first derivative is continuous the correct match for it for f4 i would say f4 was sin x square sin 1 by x x not equal to 0 0 when x equal to 0 So x square sine one by x for f four, how it is very common example. We'll see f four x is x square sine one by x x not equal to zero zero when x equal to zero, right? And we have to check it sine one by x now at x equal to zero. We have to check it. See uh, if you find limit. Of f four x, x tending to zero, so it is limit x square sine one by x. Sine one by x, however, oscillates between minus one and one when x is near to zero. When x tends to zero, x is very very close to zero, becomes close to zero, uh, comes close to zero. Sine one by x will fluctuate very rapidly between minus one and one, but it is finite. It is something which is bounded. And here, in front of it, x square is there. X tends to zero, so x square tends to zero. So it is something zero into something between minus one and one. So zero into uh, bounded, I would say finite bounded, uh, bounded thing. So it should be zero. And f zero is also f four zero is also zero. So function f four x is obviously continuous function. If you go for differentiability, f four dash zero at zero. So you'll see. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll write from the first principle, f four x minus f four zero that is zero upon x minus zero. So if I find this simple limit, again, I'll get this. And using the same logic. I can say zero into something bounded minus one to one. Zero into something minus one to one is zero. So function is definitely f four x is differentiable. F four x is differentiable at x equal to zero. Differentiable at x equal to zero. 
but if you check the derivative whether derivative is continuous or not f4 dash x is what we'll have to differentiate it f da f4 dash x uh, i can write because it is defined at 0 0 it is uh, 2x sin 1 by x if you differentiate it uh, using product rule x square into sin 1 by x now so x square as it is now and what is derivative of sin 1 by x is cos 1 by x into minus 1 by x square so you get finally minus of cos 1 by x x not equal to 0 and at 0 as f4 0 f dash f4 dash is 0 f4 dash 0 is 0 so it is defined at x equal to 0 and the value of f4 dash at x equal to 0 is 0 we have already checked it but if you check the limit of f4 dash at x equal to 0 you will see limit x tending to 0 2x sine 1 by x minus cos 1 by x 2x sine 1 by x the first part is 0 into something between minus 1 and 1 0 into bounded is 0 but the second part minus cos 1 by x this fluctuates very rapidly between minus 1 and 1 it is not having a unique tendency it will not go to a unique number it is not going to a unique number it is fluctuating very rapidly between minus 1 and 1 near 0 so it does not have unique tendency uh, so this limit will not exist limit does not exist here yeah. so we can say that this function f4 uh, dash function is not continuous at x equal to 0 means f4 uh, x function is such that its derivative is not continuous its derivative is defined at x equal to 0 some function can be defined at some point may not be continuous the same thing is happening with the function f4 dash f4 dash uh, is defined but not continuous at x equal to 0 so function f4 x is differentiable at x equal to 0 but its first derivative is not coming to the option f4 go goes with 3 differentiable at x equal to 0 but its derivative is not continuous at x equal to 0 as its limit uh, uh, is not existing here so finally r was going with 4 and uh, s was go uh, s is going with 3 so correctly option uh, obviously is uh, option d is correct all the four matching are correct r4 s3 p2 q1 r4 s3 p2 q1 r4 s3 right all right students so i hope you understood it all the four functions uh, explain in detail yeah right so option d is correct as you can see um, thank you stay tuned